Hey guys, we're here at the city center. We're gonna pick up a few things, have a look around. I'm particularly looking for a silver chain for a charm that I found that was my grandmother's. So I wanna wear it as a necklace. So the city center is like a huge center where you, there's so many things. You can get clothes, food, uh, housewares, all kinds of things. So yeah, yellow, let's go shopping. After what 10 days she finally changed her abaya, proud of you Gaul. I have lots of clothes here. I bought a shirt from this place once. That blue one I have is from there. Why don't you show us something while you're there? You like to call yourself a vlogger, but every outing is just you pointing at something lol. This wood here guys, this is what they make bokor with. Um, incense. You burn it on uh, the coals. And they make fragrances also. Alright, so we're gonna look for a silver chain here at this store. <laughs> Jewelry store. Sadly, we checked a few places, but we couldn't find one that had exactly what I'm looking for. A type of real silver chain in my size, just the chain that doesn't come with the charm, so I'm going to have to keep looking. You couldn't find a silver chain in Q8. Yeah, right. Just be honest with us, Gaul. You couldn't find one big enough to not be a choker. Look at this cool escalator with no stairs on it. Whee! <laughs> so here's the food court, it's still closed until Maghreb time, which will be in about an hour. Also, I wanna say I got recognized in public by a fan, so hello to you. Thank you for saying hi. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching me. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. All right, we're gonna go get some snacks. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, I know I don't need snacks, whatever. Yeah, yeah, that attitude is exactly why you're over 400 pounds. All right, guys, we found an arcade, and because I'm a big kid, I love arcades. <laughs> Aw, I want a cute, creepy bee person. Gambling is haram gold. So I just wanted to show you guys this fun little area they had here inside this gigantic shopping center. This is one of those things you can <laughs> grab this heavy hammer and then hit it and try to get as much points as you can. Then show us. I know she's a low effort kind of goal, but my god, it's like you go out of your way to make these boring. This, I don't know what that is, I think like a dancing station. Now that would have been content, would have loved to see you try that. And they even had a nice, big, full-size bowling alley inside. And we do want to go bowling again, so stay tuned for that. Alright. Whee! We're leaving the food court to go do more shopping because we still have to wait and all I can smell is food and it smells so good and I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. You gotta learn to use those phrases correctly, Gaul lol. Also this center has a huge grocery store inside of sorts and they had some good deals so we picked up a few things, mostly just some snacks and some things at the deli. Straight to the cheese aisle. You know, like cheese, pickled beets, olives and some deli meat, stuff like that. This is me picking up these butter and herb crackers that I really like in soup. They're so good. And I thought this was cute. Ramadan decorated Nutella jars.
So these huge bag of sweets are sold for a traditional Kui celebration here during Ramadan called Gokeyan, where children will dress up in traditional Kuwaiti attire, such as Dara and Dishdasha, and will go door to door asking for candies and nuts. And in exchange, they usually sing songs and uh, are dressed up. And this is Al Rafai, same as Salah's family name, and it's a popular roastery here in Kuwait, Syrian. They have a huge Tang section here. Do you guys remember Tang as kids? <laughs> So Salah ran back to the car to put all the groceries in so we could eat in the food court and he caught the sun going down. There was about five minutes left to Maghrib time or when Iftar starts when we can break our fast. So I was waiting in the food court. We had already ordered the food and the sun was going down. What a sight. So they have these nice hand washing stations in the food court so I took it upon myself to Give my hands a rinse with some water. Took it upon myself, goal, just stop. You could hardly call that a rinse, lol. So for Iftar, we decided to try this Italian restaurant that didn't serve Italian food. So for my meal, I had mall Chinese food, spicy potatoes, chow mein, spicy chicken, a pomegranate soda, and some a side of grape leaves, and of course, uh, they give you some dates to break your fast with, and a ice cold bottle of water, I can't wait to drink that, let me tell you. So yeah, Italian restaurant that serves um, mall Chinese. And Salah opted for the chicken, like I had, some pasta bechamel, and some rice, and a orange Kinza drink. Just like Pete's, he has a palate of a six-year-old. How do you keep finding these people all? And water, of course, as well. <laughs> Our dainty gall with half her stomach spilling over the table. Oh, jeez, Anna. Those cats definitely sense her evil. <laughs> okay. They'll scratch you, come. Yalla, yalla. 